for example, Dr. Berg, we created a separate YouTube channel called Dr. Berg Shorts. And that's where we do the shorts. And his main channel, we don't touch it. So it depends where you're at. How is it going with um, shorts and like short, the short form YouTube versus the long form? Are you doing that? I'm going to switch uh, interviewers here now. It's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> so the um, my opinion on YouTube shorts yeah. is that it's actually something that you should be doing very aggressively. If you have a newer channel, not established channel, mm -hmm. not growing channel just yet. Mm -hmm. Then you want to plug, plug in YouTube shorts and you do three to four a day yeah. because it's going to help you get discovery that YouTube is not going to help you on the full length videos. That That's the purpose of YouTube shorts, in my opinion. It's like uh, getting visibility, audience building, audience building Likes. on steroids, because if you want to start going just doing horizontal full length videos on YouTube, yeah. you're not going to get some traction. Um, on for a long time of being consistent unless you plug in something like YouTube Shorts, right? Mm. So here's here's my advice if you have an established YouTube channel for anybody that has a channel that's growing at 10, 20% rates every month. Like Jason Flatland, you know Jason Flatland? Uh, he's a great marketer. So he's one of the greatest of all times, actually. You should check out his book. He wrote a book called One Too Many. He's, a we he's known as a webinar king. Like to give you an example, he sold $57 million on one webinar last year. Mm. One webinar. He's that kind of a guy. The webinar king, the webinar goat, whatever. His YouTube channel, he started creating on it. We, we built the channel uh, ourselves here at AGM. It went from 5,000 subscribers to 10,000 mm. in, in the last two months. So it's growing fast now. If you guys have a growing channel, you don't want to plug in YouTube shorts, uh, shorts on it because what the algorithm was penalizing um, the content creator unintentionally and they were sending more traffic to the shorts than the, the, the full horizontal videos. Mm. So this is something that YouTube already publicly uh, talked about. And they said they were, they were working on fixing it. And apparently on a big video conference uh, that they had last month in November, mm -hmm. they announced that they already have fixed the algorithm issue because it was actually literally penalizing creators that had a good YouTube channel. So for mm -hmm. Dr. Eric Berg, for Metabolismo TV, we don't do shorts. We don't do it. We actually created a separate YouTube channel. So for example, Dr. Burke, who's one of the legendary um, health educators, 9 million subscribers, we're going to hit 10 million very soon, our client for six years. Um, Dr. Burke, um, we created a separate YouTube channel called Dr. Burke Shorts. And that's where we do the shorts. And his main channel, we don't touch it. So it depends where you're at. If you want to grow fast because you're not growing fast enough, go all in on shorts because that is the opportunity. It's very easy to subscribe. If you're growing already because YouTube is flowing already power to you and you're doing enough volume that is being consistent and you're growing, you don't want to touch that right mm -hmm. then and there.